I think he um, brings what he does to this team. Uh, he is uh, one of the best closers in baseball history at this point. Uh, he's still got a lot in the tank. And uh, he had a really solid season last year. And we see a lot of things from a scouting perspective going forward that has this place in a pretty big bet that this guy's going to have a really good season for us. Um, it was uh, it was the very first uh, conversation that I had with an agent when free agency opened, the first day, night of the G GM meetings. And I just think it was that obvious of a fit. You know, we've got this really great team, great roster that's um, missing its closer because of injury. Um, we've got a guy that, that loves pitching leverage innings and, and closing out games, and he loves winning. And he saw a team that could use him, and so we talked early. Um, obviously, it was uh, uh, took a while to, to get the, the deal and the finances uh, figured out, um, which is normal. But um, we had a nice uh, meeting with Craig, with, with Brandon Hyde, and um, it was pretty clear that, that we wanted him and, and he wanted to come join this Orioles team. And um, so I think it's a great deal for, for all sides. I think an important feature for us is, um, you know, we do have a, a club option for 2025. So if this turns out to be a good fit. I think that's, that's going to be nice for us. And I think both parties are um, entering this arrangement with the spirit of uh, this potentially being a two-year thing. So. Uh, we're optimistic about it. Um, I feel uh, way more um, structured when we think about our bullpen now to, to have um, Craig in there. And, um, you know, the plan is for him to be the closer, and we're, we're, we're very clear about that when we, we sign him, and that's what we wanted him to do. I, that doesn't mean he's not going to, you know, Brandon's not going to use him to face the middle of the order in a tie game in the eighth inning or. You, you know how it goes, but um, you know he'll be he'll be um, uh, leading the pack there and from the back end of the bullpen. I think the um, the veteran mentorship factor. I mean, it's not not a huge part of why we're doing this, but it, it's something nice that uh, our young bullpen is is lacking, and uh, just uh, all around um, he he was a priority for us for us to figure out a deal with him because we thought it was uh, kind of the right guy at the right time um, and uh, the, the, the right fit for us. Any progress on a starter? Um, progress in the sense of um, uh, us gathering a lot of information here, um, making progress in talks to not that we're closer to a deal, but that uh, we have a more refined um, understanding of what the possibilities of the deals are right now and just kind of kind of moving the football down the field a couple of yards at a time um, which sounds pretty mundane but it's honestly a, a lot of work in this business to do that a lot of conversations you're checking with agents you're checking with teams you're going back and forth um, it's a big puzzle that you're trying to put together and uh, the winter meetings help with that but uh, I think uh, having having Kimbrel um, signed now an official we could still uh bolster our bullpen with with trades or free agent signings and we'll be continuing to explore that but it definitely puts us in a mindset of uh, a little more comfort with what we have there and uh you know per, as we have done this winter meetings after knowing that we we had kimbrell uh done on monday night um before his physical which was today that uh we're able to turn our attention to this vast pitching, starting pitching uh, uh, market of possibilities and, and chip away at, at those conversations. I think Rock mentioned that you guys are the big spenders so far the winter meetings. How does that kind of feel that, that you got a big deal across and I think the biggest one of, of your time in Baltimore so far? Yeah, we're, we're, the, uh, we're the, the, the winners here, I think, of the uh, biggest free agent contract so, so far. And uh, I hope everyone, hope everyone had that on their bingo card. Um, and uh, um, uh, you know, it's fun, it's fun winter meetings for us. So uh, it, uh, look, it was great. Uh, like I said, it was a we had these talks with Craig for a while. Um, both sides, David Meter, his his longtime agent, whom I've I've known for a long time. Um, we we expressed the desire to try to close it down um, so that we could focus on other conversations during the winter meetings. So I'm very pleased with the timing. Um, like I said, it's kind of nice to have something to talk about at these winter meetings, uh, the concrete. And um, 
you know, we don't we don't force this stuff while we're here, but it's 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 nice to um, go home with uh, w one of our big um, wish list items under the tree. Beyond just filling the role you needed filled, what did you like about Kimball's 23? Um, I don't think that uh, you know the, the the Phillies get where they got without him. Um, I thought it was a great signing and addition for. Um, for, for them, he had a really solid year. He was an all-star. Um, the first half was spectacular. Um, the stuff is still great, which is just remarkable when you when you look at w how long he's been doing this and how rigorous that job is. And he's he posts. He's thrown a lot of innings the last couple of years. Um, and uh, this is a guy that shows up and knows exactly how to go about his business and and how to do it. So. Um, we, you know, he, we, we liked him at the, uh, you know, like we saw in 2022 from him, we weren't really in the market, but 2023 was a, a step up for him, both in terms of stuff and performance and, um, our outlook with him ticked up after what he did. So I thought he, he very successfully went to Philadelphia and, um, Im improved his uh, position going into, to, uh, this, this free agency. But, um, f for me, what I like about it at the back end of, our bullpen is um, we got a lot of left-handed relievers. Um, we were a little shorter on the right-handed side, so Craig kind of adds to that. Uh, but he's kind of the word we use is platoon neutral. I mean, he can he can handle left-handed batters, and so I think that makes it much easier if you're Brandon Hyde to plan, knowing that you can have him throw in the ninth inning and not really worry about if it's a pocket of lefties or a pocket of righties because he can kind of handle both. And that's something with Felix down um, we could we really could use more, could have used more of in the bullpen. And so, um, you know, we were talking to some of these guys that we view that way. He gave up a surprising amount of home runs last year, perhaps some, you know, kind of bad home run luck. Do you think it will help to get him pitch half of his games at Camden Yards? I hope so. I mean, um, Philly's a great place to play, but it's 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 sort of like how Camden Yards used to be. It's just really cozy. Um, I think that's really common, honestly, when you're a strikeout pitcher with a four seam fastball. Um, there's just some seasons where you give up more homer more than your share of homers, and um, you know we kind of hope that's was the case. Um, but uh, you know he's proven his whole career that he's very capable of making whatever adjustments necessary. Um, I mean, this this guy's had a remarkable career and that he's still going this strong is cool. And I look, he's chasing some um, uh, big names on the saves list. So I think it's gonna be uh, fun for our fans to, to be a part of that and, and watch him continue to tick up the Hall of Fame type uh, pursuit he's got uh, with all time saves leaders. You mentioned still pursuing some bullpen help. Are those back end guys, or do you like kind of the group you have for the seventh, eighth, ninth with Coulomb, Cano, the guys you have already in place? I think we like it. Um, I think, um, but we will uh, monitor opportunities um, in the bullpen, and if that's trade or if that's a, um, a a free agent contract that starts to look attractive, as we talk, you know, we're, we're there's room for more. But um, I, I would feel like this group now. Um, stacks up really well around the league with, with what we have now. And we also have the possibility, depending on how our rotation pursuits and our rotation competition goes in Sarasota, that some of the talented guys that we have in that mix could spill over into the pen. So I think one thing that we've just got to keep talking about and keep in mind is, um, you know, it's you're only allowed to have 13 pitchers now. The seasons are grueling. Um, you, you want some flexibility in your bullpen, and we have less than that, I think, than in the past because a lot of our guys are either out of options or graduating in arbitration or what have you, and we're not going to be able to, you know, if we have a rough night, um, option people frivolously if we get too many players. Um, so, um, you know, it's something that every team has to keep in mind, especially with these new rules now.